So today I decided I'm going to build my VAC station 3200. Uh, it's in a deck H, see if I can get it to focus, H9642 rack. So I've got all the parts here and they're starting to get in the way of organizing everything else. I just moved recently and uh, this had to come apart to move it. So I'm going to start by building the rack. Some of the parts are already in place because I didn't have to take them out. So like the rails for the two BA-23s that make up the VAC station are still installed. There's a couple L bracket kind of rails that I added uh, that aren't original and there's a set of rails up there for a Tektronics uh, vector display that I added in. Again also not original and I haven't done anything with it yet but it was a convenient place to store it so um, <clears throat> got all the parts here it's one rack side there's the other rack side, there's the rack frame itself. The wheels I had off too, but I had to put them back on to get the thing around inside the house here. So um, There's a PDU down there and some miscellaneous you know, uh, framing for the rack that holds some of the decorative pieces on. There's the back of the, the uh, vax that goes on to the back of the two uh, BA-23s to give you your I.O. panel. I've got the cables here. That's a uh, console cable for the serial console and the cable for the graphics display, which I've got a, a graphics board set in this. So I've got uh, the rest of the plastic and, and decorative um, pieces that go on the top and, and sides here and some of the other hardware for keeping the the sides on and, and that sort of thing. There's the top, there's the slide out uh, foot that slides out of the front so you don't tip the rack over when you start taking things out of it. And I don't have the original monitor. I'm sure it would have been some deck branded uh, fixed frequency VR2 something. But instead I've got a nice uh, ViewSonic 17 SVGA monitor that happens to have BNC's in the back and I'm just going to run it as monochrome because I've only got the monochrome video cable with the one BNC rather than the RG and B so it's going to end up being a monochrome green screen until I decide to build another cable. As I understand it, the graphics board set supports RGB I just don't have the right cable for it so maybe some other time I'll add color capability. So I'm going to start putting the rack together and I'll take some more short videos as I go along the way. The first step is going to be to put that uh, front support back in this slide rail on the bottom here before I tip the rack back up onto, uh, back upright. I'm actually the sliding front support is in. I also put all the feet in. They just slide into the side. Uh, there's a lock washer and a washer and then there's a square piece that slides into the frame here. There's also a nut so that when you adjust the foot you can lock where it's at and uh, then you don't have to worry about the foot moving when you don't want it to. So the next step here is uh, to put the PDU into the back PDU is basically a rack mount thing. It's got rack ears here that'll go into the clip nuts. And then there's also a bracket here that kind of holds the cable. And that mounts to these couple of screws here and here. So I'm going to get that done next. So I almost certainly have the power cable routed wrong here because it's going to get in the way eventually when I go to put this bracket on. You can get it on, but I suspect the power cable is supposed to be routed through this hole. But I don't really feel like taking the connector off the cord and messing with all that stuff, so I may just deal with it the way it is. But the bracket's installed in the back here, and the PDU's in. And then an important thing to note here is that there is ground wire 
to ground the rack chassis to the PDU. Now I suspect that between the rack ear screws and that ground lead there's some amount of redundancy there and it doesn't really matter but it was there when I got it so it's staying there. Now as far as the PDU goes this is a deck 847D. This is actually a 24 amp rated PDU, but I've only put a 15 amp plug on it because the original uh, larger twist lock is not something I have readily available. But the general principle is that it's got two constant output outlets on it and then it's got six that are switched so by the three pin connectors you have like one master power switch somewhere on the front um, coming out of the power supply on a BA23 there's a connector back in here and a three wire cable that or actually it may be a two wire cable that connects that and so by just having one power switch on the main chassis, you switch those other outlets so any peripherals connected into that PDU will turn on when you turn on the system uh, through the front power switch. Of course, there's also a breaker back here. Then there's a mode switch for the PDU. So one of these is system controlled. That's A. And one of them is just always off, I think. And then B at least when there's nothing connected it fires a contactor but I don't know if there's other behavior there but I know that A is definitely when you've got one cable plugged into one of these that the uh, BA23 chassis or, or similar component the power switch on the front of it would control it so I had to install these two brackets for this front panel here that goes at the bottom and the way these sit is that these pins go into the slotted hole here so it's not the easiest thing to get on with this uh, front support extended here but they fit in like that and then down in front here there's a couple of screws that go in in the left and right sides. Put those in and uh, that's all there is to that front panel. So when you go to rack the BA23 you only want to put in the top screw on these rails like this. The reason is because when you go actually rack the BA23 this is the screw that holds it in. So that's the same screw as the bottom screw here. So you only put the top screw in and then you put the BA23 in the rack. So let's see if I can do this while still filming. Now I still have to put the back panel on so I'm not going to push these in all the way. Um, when I go to put in that back panel um, I think the BA23s are going to have to be sticking out a little bit and then once that's all installed then I'll have to slide them in the rest of the way. Uh, you could probably put the back panel on first and then put the boxes in but since I've got them all set up here I'm going to do that now. Okay, so putting the back plate in the rack here is fairly straightforward. You just make sure all the cables are tucked in so they're not going to get caught on anything. And then you take it over here, install rack mount parts. So it's kind of a, a hinged thing. 
So there's uh, these pins, and on the other side, or well, actually this is the back part of the rails of the for the BA twenty three. So yeah, that's that'll just be part of that. And then on the other side, there's a similar arrangement again. You know, make sure you leave the right holes open here. Over here on this side, the ears for securing this thing are the inner two. So you want to put any very upper and lower two screws. And then on this side, there's no screws. There is a bracket that'll uh, hold this in on the top. I'll show you that in just a second. So get this on the pins. thought I could do this one in. Okay. So get it on the pins like that. It will swing like a door, so obviously you want to make sure that none of the cables here are going to get caught on anything. Make sure none of the cables from your BA23s are going to get caught on anything. There are these steel cables in here that uh keep the BA-23s from pulling out of the chassis once this is all in place, but this will just swing closed. You'll put your two screws over here, and then on the side with the hinge, there's this bracket that keeps it from being removed. So you put a screw in there, and then from there, uh, it's these two quarter turn kind of T-screws that allow you to flip this back panel open and uh, get to all the cards and, and cabling in the back. Well, got it all cabled up, so I'm ready to move on here. Uh, I still have to screw in the BA-23s in the front, but they're all slid back here and I'm going to have to cable everything up now. There's two power cables obviously and then there's uh, that three wire cable goes from the first BA-23 down to the PDU there's a few cable like p-clip things that screw into the rack here that I'll put on and, and route the three wire cable through and the power wire ring you know, ring down here and plug into the PDU appropriately I guess I missed the cable here, which will have to go into the graphics board set. I guess it must be that one. So I put the screws in the two BA-23s and then started on all these plastic trim pieces. This little 1U one here, um, there's a bracket that has to attach here and um, behind that are the various cross members for the rack so you can't really put anything there anyway and it covers up that space plastic piece just uh, clips in there and then there's the other two plastic pieces that mount into the rack holes. It's a lot easier to put in that bottom piece before the BA-23s are in there. It's generally a good idea to work from the bottom up. I should have done that before I had the Vax racked in there, but oh well. I had to crawl inside and put the screws in from the back. And then the top one was uh, much easier. Then here's the top and that back piece as well. So there's uh, screws in the side that hold the top on, and there's screws that go into the rack holes here, and this comes apart into two pieces. The top is one piece, there's a couple screws under the lip here, and a couple nuts on studs under here that you can get to from underneath that comes apart to allow you to get to the screws that hold this onto the rack frame. Um, and after that, the sides will have to go on. So the sides 
have slots that go on the screws. So you have to kind of line up the slot and there's four points of mounting. Two in the back, two in the front. Here and down there. <clears throat> it can be kind of difficult to get everything lined up. But once you get the rack side on, all four corners should be secure. None of them should be wiggling around. If you're not on one of these mount points, then the side will kind of be loose and it'll move around and that's not, that means you're not on there correctly. And of course, don't forget to attach the ground wire. Yeah, there's there's a ground plug back here labeled pretty clearly with a sticker. So I think I've got the phone upside down. Yeah, there's a ground lug with a sticker and it's pretty obvious where you're supposed to connect the ground wire. Um, kind of a stud there. Don't forget to do it. Okay, so once the sides are on, this piece somehow somehow it gets in here. Hmm. Okay. So there's um, notches on each side. Put in there. And then uh, on each side there is a screw that holds it in. Then after that, I'm going to put these brackets in. They have to go in after the door is already on because. I'm sorry, after the side is already on because they do sit a little bit in the side. Um, so they have to go on pretty much last. And they just, they are slotted. So you don't have to take these screws all the way out. You can slip them on and then they have to go in. Of course it's hitting the power cord here, but... And uh, it's kind of the door clasp here, but it, hmm, you know, I wonder now, and I'm not going to change it because the side's already on, but I wonder if there was a second set of holes there and maybe this was supposed to be forward a little more. Um, so that's something to note. That there is there are two positions for this bracket and I think it was supposed to be forward more. Unfortunately I don't have the door. But fortunately that means this doesn't really matter and it's a cosmetic thing more than anything else. Uh, I'm gonna leave it off. Because I don't have the door and it doesn't really matter and it's just it's another thing for things to get caught on. Uh, and then after that since I don't have the door, I've got this rod to put in one side. Just to support this so that you see like will just wiggle around but if it's at least got something supporting it then it can take a little bit of weight so it's everything put together